Hello everybody, welcome back to Steel Detailing channel where you can learn everything about building information modeling. Today we are going to look at how to work with multi-level assemblies in Tecla structures. As usual we have a sample model here. I am going to take an assembly list. We have 3 beams and 3 columns B20, 21 and 22 and C12, 13 and 14. We can see all our separate assemblies. Let's say we want the objects forming a cube as a super assembly. Totally 3 cubes, one cube at the top, middle and bottom so that the erector can place the cubes one above the other without the columns and beams losing their assembly marks. In this way, the fabricator can fabricate the assemblies as sub-assemblies and assemble the sub-assemblies into a super assembly. Select the assemblies that form the cube. Make a right click, go to assembly and select make into assembly. Now the entire frame will be a super assembly. Similarly, let's make the other cubes into super assemblies. Now we have three super assemblies. If you look at the bottom of the Tecla structures window, there's a zero near the pan. That's the hierarchical level. If you hold shift and scroll up, level of hierarchy will be changed to one. Now if you pick any object, only the sub assembly will be selected. If you hold shift and scroll down, it will get back to zero, which makes Tecla select the super assemblies. Let's take a closer look. The sub assemblies will be selected at level 1. At level 2, only the main members of the sub assembly will be selected. At level 0, the entire super assembly will be selected. This is how we can define the level of hierarchy by holding shift and scrolling up or down. If we inquire about the super assembly, it is not numbered, but the beams and columns are already numbered. Let's select the super assemblies and number them. The super assemblies are now numbered as B1, B2, and B3. Let's stop the timer and save the numbers. Now if we inquire about the super assembly, it is numbered B1. Let's select all the assemblies and create assembly drawings. Assembly drawings for beams and columns are created. If you open the column drawing, we can find only the column assembly with its associated single parts in the bill of material. Let's close it. I'm going to create a multi-level assembly drawing. Select the assembly, go to drawing properties, select assembly. Then load the properties of ML assembly with BOM. Apply that and create an assembly drawing for that super assembly. Only the sub assemblies are mentioned in the BOM, not any single part. Alright that's it for today, if you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button, if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you.